What's up guys, Radog54 bringing you another video today. About a month ago, maybe two now, I posted a video how to run ads on Twitch using the creator dashboard. And since then, the dashboard has been updated and in the comment section I've gotten a lot of requests to record a new video on the same topic. So that's what we're going to do today. And let's just jump right into it. It's going to be a quick one. We're going to focus mainly on just running ads. So started off on the twitch.tv home screen, guys. It's going to be just like before you go up to your little profile, you go to creator dashboard and this is what the new dashboard looks like. It's really sleek. I think it looks, I think it looks good. It's got a lot of new stuff, a lot of old stuff to it, but it's got some options on it. We won't go through it all, but there is these that you can go through to see like your revenue and your analytics. But for the most part on this page alone, it's going to have your stream activity, your chat, and then your stream preview will go here along with your quick actions is that's what we want to focus on today. So there's a, a lot of things you can do with your quick actions. This is actually super useful because like I said, they're quick actions. They're very easy to use and you can use them on your stream pretty much immediately. So I'm actually going to be testing this out moving forward. I'm going to keep the dashboard open while I stream. I use a stream deck. So a lot of the things I would use the dashboard for. I don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and see how I like it since I haven't really given it a go since it's been updated. With that said, I'm going to show you guys how to run ads. So when it comes to running ads, guys, it's really easy. Basically, all you're going to do in the quick actions, the default, I believe this is default on there. I don't think I ever added it is the run 60 second ad break. When you're live, it's going to be purple, just like these buttons. You're going to be able to press it. It's going to show the cooldown. You can't run an ad back to back in less than 20 minutes. If you're an affiliate, I think it's different if you're a partner, but so if you guys don't want to just run the default 60 second ad break, I know sometimes I have something to do. Like I want to go make a sandwich. I want to brush my teeth. I don't know. I need more than a minute. Then you could change it. All you have to do is press this plus right here. And this has a ton of stuff on it. We're not going to go over it too much, but there's so many things you can add on here. I think the clip that one is very, very useful. You can do host channels, raid channels already on there for you. There's a lot of them, but the main ones we're going to focus on right here is monetize your stream. And this is just the different ad breaks you can take. You can do from 30 to 180. So from 30 seconds to three minutes. And it's really helpful. It's, you can add all of them if you want. If you want to, all you have to do is literally, let's say you want to add 180, exit and out. It's going to be right there. When you're live, it's going to turn purple just like the other ones. And that's all you have to do. It's really easy. It's really nice. That's about it, guys. It's really easy to do. Just in case you guys run into this issue, I was not able to view my own ads, obviously, because it's my own channel. I'm subscribed to my own channel by default. I also wasn't really able to view my ads through another Twitch account just for a test. I don't know if that's an update on it, but I have done it in stream and I know it does work from confirmation from other people. So if you have that same issue, don't worry about it. It definitely works. Just ask people in your stream as well. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. Again, really easy. If you guys have any other questions or want me to make another video on this creator dashboard, what else it can do, let me know in the comment section. I do stream on Twitch, guys. Twitch.tv slash Radog54. Check me out on there. Throw me a follow. If you aren't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please hit that sub button and give me a thumbs up on this video, guys. I'd really appreciate it. You guys have a great day and see ya.